The last method that we're going to take a look at is the irregular boundary adjustment. And it's used whenever you have a lost corner that would um, generally be a single proportion. However, there's a bearing break in the line. And so let's take a look at um, what I'm talking about here. Let's say you have a section corner that's common to section 30 and 31. So it's uh, actually on a uh, range line, so it's uh, on the west line of the township. And the record shows north 80 chains, and then all of a sudden there's a bearing break. The next line uh, is north 0 degrees 14 minutes west, 39.98 chains. Well, generally this would be straight, and it would be a single proportion. But since there's a bearing break, we have to use a uh, special methodology. One thing I do want to mention is that an irregular boundary adjustment is not the same as a compass rule adjustment, but most often results in the same solution. And remember that our compass rule adjustment is known as the broken boundary or a non-repairing uh, line adjustment. So what happens is, is that you retrace the line, and uh, again, your basis of bearings is astronomic, your distances are ground distance. And you get a distance between the two found corners, but remember this corner here is lost of north 0 degrees 5 minutes 6 seconds west 7920.779 feet and you get coordinates uh, for the two points. Well one thing that I do want to show is that um, in uh, BLM language what they would do is they would start at this corner they would run the record set a temporary point run the record set another temporary point and then denote the falling between the temporary point and the actual found corner. Um, and over the years, what you've seen happen is you've seen uh, the compass rule uh, used for this type of methodology, even the second edition of Clark. Uh, when you look at how to do this particular methodology, it shows the broken boundary. And in the broken boundary, uh, remember from my previous example on the non-repairing uh, line uh, that we did is that you run the record, run the record, denote the following, and then you proportion uh, based on the actual distance traversed and the bearing remains constant. And so when you do this, and I'm not going to work out the example because I've already worked out an example on this, the coordinates of the lost point would be 10,281.41 feet and 4,999.33 feet. Well, what happens in the irregular boundary adjustment is since this line is predominantly north-south and, and very little east-west, um, what we do first is a single proportion in a north-south uh, direction and then the compass rule in an east-west. And if it happened to be a, a uh, predominantly east-west line, you would do the single proportion in the east-west and the compass rule in the north-south. So keep that in mind. So uh, the first thing I do is to reduce uh, the record to cardinal equivalents, and that's what I've done here. Second thing I do is reduce the measure to cardinal equivalents, and remember that's just the difference in the northings. And then I do a single proportion uh, in a north-south direction just using the cardinal equivalents. So 5,280 is to 7,918.66 is to Y is to 7920.77 and so you get y is 5281.41. So the north coordinates uh, of the lost corner would be just the northern of the southernmost point which is 5000 plus the proportion 5281.41 so that's 10281.41. If you recall that is the exact coordinates uh, by using the compass rule. The second part is, remember I just said that you use a compass rule uh, east-west in this particular example, and so that would give you coordinates of 4,999.33, and of course that's going to be the same as uh, what we did with the compass rule. Um, and so when you look, the coordinates uh, doing it using a regular boundary matches that that we did using a broken boundary or compass rule, however you, whatever you want to call it. So that's the way you're doing a regular boundary. Um, my recommendation is always this. Uh, do it using beth both methodologies. Uh, check and make sure that uh, the answers are very, very close to each other. It's a good way to check yourself. If you have a pretty hard bearing break, uh, you definitely should 
uh, use the regular boundary method because that is the proper way. Um, and true of the matter is it doesn't really take that much longer just to do the regular boundary. So um, to stay legal, I would just use the regular boundary, but use the broken boundary as a check on your work.